Imagine an engine that its makers say can run on hydrogen, ethanol, kerosene, and conventional gasoline that claims high power from a surprisingly small package and that seeks to cut emissions by changing how combustion itself happens. That machine is Alpha Auto's Rev Force. What you're about to hear is a clear, corrected look at what the company actually states, what independent coverage reports, and what remains unproven. I'll tell you the impressive parts, the parts that vary between reports, and the parts that still need independent verification. Internal combustion engines have been improved over decades, but their basic compromises remain. Much of the chemical energy and fuel becomes heat and is lost, and meeting tough emissions rules while preserving power and energy density has been an ever-present engineering tension. Alpha Auto's Rev Force addresses this tension by redesigning how the engine breathes and how combustion is controlled with the explicit aim of enabling operation on a very wide suite of fuels and of improving thermal efficiency compared with conventional engines. Rev Force is described by Alpha Auto as a compact, two-cylinder, two-stroke engine that uses a rotary exhaust valve to control exhaust timing independently of piston position and that uses force induction and intake air conditioning to precisely manage charge conditions. Alpha Auto states the architecture is fuel agnostic, meaning it is designed to operate on fuels ranging from gasoline to green hydrogen and ammonia, provided the fuels are supplied appropriately. These are company descriptions of the intended architecture and capabilities. Regarding raw numbers, several outlets in Alpha Auto's own materials describe the prototype in similar but not identical terms. Alpha Auto and several reports cite a peak power figure of about 127 kilowatts or roughly 170 to 175 horsepower from a 578 cubic centimeters twin that weighs approximately 48 kilograms. Those figures appear repeatedly in company releases and press coverage. Some media reports also reference higher prototype scaling figures or alternative tuning cases. For example, a higher reported prototype power figure in later coverage. So the widely quoted 127 kilowatts figure should be understood as a company stated specification widely repeated in press, not as a third party certified dyno sheet. Alpha Auto also publicizes claim high thermal efficiency numbers for certain operating regimes, and some press coverage notes claims around the 45 to 50 percent range. That number, again, originates with the company's efficiency claims and press reporting. Independent laboratory confirmation of a sustained production-ready engine demonstrating that thermal efficiency across duty cycles has not been published in peer-reviewed journals or publicly available certification reports as of now. What sets Rev Force apart is the way it separates the act of moving gases in and out of the cylinder from the piston's compression and expansion work. In conventional two-stroke, designs a piston must both expel exhaust and draw intake simultaneously, which forces compromises and can allow fresh charge to escape. Rev Force adds a rotary exhaust valve that can open and close on its own timing and uses a variable force induction system to control intake pressure and flow independently. The result, in company descriptions and in technical write-ups, is an engine where the piston is free to focus on compression and expansion, which is a work that generates mechanical power. Alpha Auto describes a combustion approach, a form of low temperature or diffuse combustion. The idea is to produce a more uniform, lower peak temperature burn that lowers NOx formation and captures more energy and expansion rather than losing it to high local temperatures. In practice, their strategy combines very precise charge control, air preconditioning to control intake temperature and density, and a mix of direct injection and spark assistance as needed. The company and some technical posts describe modes where auto ignition occurs in very lean regimes and other modes where spark assistance stabilizes the event at higher power. That hybrid approach is central to Alpha Auto's claims about fuel flexibility and emissions reduction. The rotary exhaust valve is also described as having variable phasing relative to the crankshaft, giving the engine live control over when ports open and close much like variable valve timing systems on modern four-stroke engines. Between the rotary valve, force induction, and intake air conditioning, the system depends on an advanced electronic control unit to coordinate many parameters in real time. Alpha Auto says future control work may include adaptive strategies and machine learning style optimization, but detailed technical results of such control systems in long-term operation have not been independently published. Multiple company pages and press articles report the prototype's displacement and power, the engine's mass, and a time between the overhaul target. The most consistent 
repeatedly cited values are roughly 578 cubic centimeters for the two-cylinder unit, about 127 kilowatts peak power, and about 48 kilograms dry weight. When expected TBO figure the company has discussed around 2,000 hours in some materials. Those figures have been widely reported in technology press and industry write-ups and reflect the company's published prototype claims. They are not the same as independent certification paperwork or third-party endurance test results published in technical journals. A few articles cite slightly different peak power numbers for different prototype stages or scale variants, so treating the power figure as a company-stated prototype performance metric rather than an absolute certified spec line is the prudent approach. Alpha Auto says it envisions the engine first appearing in use cases where fuel flexibility, power density, and controlled emissions matter most and certification barriers are more manageable than in full automotive deployment. Examples the company and press mention include compact range extenders for hybrid electric systems, generators for remote or distributed power where green fuels may be used, and propulsion for unmanned systems and aircraft where power to weight is critical. Alpha Auto's own communications and early media coverage indicate a strategic focus on fixed power and niche aerospace markets while they mature the product. For all the promise, important questions remain. The rotary exhaust valve will operate in a very harsh thermal and chemical environment, maintaining seals, surface integrity, and timing tolerances over thousands of hours is a substantial engineering challenge. Achieving high average thermal efficiency across the full range of real-world transit operation, especially when an engine switches between fuels or low conditions, is harder than achieving peak numbers on a single steady test. Low temperature or diffuse combustion strategies look excellent in controlled setups, but they demand extremely precise sensing and control to avoid instability, misfires, or excessive soot in some fuels. Certification for aviation or automotive use will require extensive, publicly reported testing and regulatory approval, and electric powertrains and fuel cells remain formidable competitors for many of the same applications. Worth emphasizing that many of the most eye-catching figures you see in press stories are company claims repeated by journalists. Those claims are credible enough to attract attention and investment interest, but wide independent verification, long-duration field tests, emission certification reports, peer-reviewed efficiency studies, has not yet appeared in the public domain. Alpha Auto has been transparent about moving from R&D into demonstration and pilot phases, and publicly available material shows prototype demonstrations and explainer videos. The company has presented the RevForce architecture as intended for scalable manufacturing and modular integration with motor generator systems. Watch for independent dyno data, long-term endurance reports, emission certification filings, and third-party validations as the next meaningful milestones that will convert press-reported promise into widely accepted fact. RevForce is an audacious attempt to reimagine a technology that has defined modern transport for more than a century. Alpha Auto's combination of a rotary exhaust valve, force induction, intake conditioning, and a combustion approach aimed at low peak temperatures and broad fuel compatibility is a coherent engineering concept with compelling potential. The most cautious way to put it is this. The architecture is real. The prototype claims are persuasive and independent. Long-term proof is a natural next step. If Alpha Auto clears those steps, RevForce could find strong niches. If it falls short in durability, cost, or emissions under real operating conditions, the technical lessons it yields will still be valuable to the broader field.